En ze willen ons bij. Af te leken, man, vrees, 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 stop, stop je al, oké? Okay? Het is een goed feit, Sheikh Hansen was daarbij. Right away we see the height advantage that Kronjanski has over Spong. Both men have extremely strong corners. There's Ivan Hippoli giving last minute instructions. Uh, one of the great trainers in Holland. And of course, Tyron Spong has Rob Kamen and Rashad Evans, the former UFC light heavyweight champion, in his corner. And Spong presses forward. We pretty much know that Spong is going to want to throw some punches, but he landed a good left low kick there. And that's what Bunyowski said. He said he's lost his, uh, his speed and kicking now. He's mostly just a puncher, now he's a bigger man. He said he's going to kick the puncher. And we're seeing Bunyowski throw a lot of kicks right off the bat. And a left kick landed upside the right arm of Spong. Good, oh. right? That's a beautiful left front kick by Spong. Right up the middle. It landed perfectly. Nice counter. Perfect sweep move. Spawn. Oh, nice work. Beautiful punch combination to the body and then to the head by Tyron Spawn. Spawn keeping Bunyaski trapped in the corner momentarily with two minutes left here at round number one. the leg grab again. Gonna, you know, hopefully he doesn't get a point deduction for doing that. Hopefully because this is not an MMA fight. Oh, you can't hold the foot though. Yeah. You can grab and hold it for a second, yeah. but then you have to let go or do something. Yeah, you get a counter immediately. Yeah. Nice kick for kick. Schwab doing some nice inside leg kicks, round kicks there. Just almost took the legs out for Bunowski. Two, three with that liver shot to end things for Spong. Spong has been a sharp puncher. One minute left. Gunyaski hasn't been able to find his distance or his rhythm yet here in round number one. Uh, Gunyaski said he was going to feel him out in round number one and number two he was going to go for. It. I don't know if he's felt him out yet because it looks like Spong's coming on. Well, he's felt his punches, that's for sure. Spong is just a sharper fighter right now. Way the playing the waiting game. Spong with some head movement, standing on the outside, probably confident that he's got the round in the bag. But Bernie Bunyavsky is very hard to finish. He's got one of the greatest defenses in the game. Blasting away with the right roundhouse kick to the body. Then the left. against the 
ropes. Bob doing something very clever, holding the foot up on his arm instead of just holding it. Two of our greatest heavyweights here in glory. Wow. we got more great heavyweights coming at you. April 6th, Gokan Saki comes in to face Daniel Gita, and that's the number two and number three heavyweights in glory in Istanbul, April 6th. Don't miss it. GloryWorldSeries.com, the pay-per-view will be available. We ask you covering with a jab. Because further down the road, Frank, both these men are thinking, oh, where, where am I going to stand in the rankings? Where am I going to stand in that heavyweight Grand Slam tournament? Oh, my oh, Lord! Massive right hand sends Bojanski sleeping through the bottom leg. He's not moving. Tyrone Strong has knocked out Remy Bunyaski here in round number two. Bob, Bob's punching power comes through. Bunyaski said he would kick the puncher, said he would knock him out in the second round, but instead falls victim to a massive right hand that sends him careening through the bottom rope. Bunyaski just could never get out of first gear in the first and second round. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, he 